Hey parents, I uh, wanted to send you a very short little video to uh, let you guys know what we're studying for the next couple of weeks uh, and next couple of months with the youth group. We are starting our purity study and for the month of March we'll be talking about uh, l being lovesick and how uh, what we need to know about dating. Um, and so we want to encourage you to make sure your teens are coming to church on Sunday morning for class. Get them out of bed, you get out of bed, it's important for them to be there. Um, just FYI, we'll spend this first month uh, with the junior high and the high school together in one class and then after that, we're going to split them up after that. So we'll be talking about dating this month and in the next couple of months, we'll be talking about uh, love, marriage, and sex. Uh, one of my favorite sayings I've ever heard about uh, talking to teens about uh, sex and, and purity and those things is that there's way too much talk about God in the churches and there's way too much talk about sex in the bars. We would all be well served to swap topics. And so that's what we're going to be doing for the next couple of months. We're going to be switching topics, and we're going to be talking about sex here at church. Uh, we uh, want to encourage you guys to have them there Sunday morning for class uh, so that they can uh, hear these conversations and, and hear the, 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 the study. But we also want to encourage you, once, the, uh, once you get done on Sunday mornings, we parents, we want to encourage you guys to talk to your teens about what they learned. Not just uh, talk to them, but talk with them them. Uh, we are, we're, we're going to provide for you guys every week questions for you to talk to your kids with about the, the topic for that Sunday morning. Uh, if you'll go to our website, which I'll have a link on an email I'll send out to you, uh, go to our church's website and then go to uh, Get Connected and then go to Family Ministry. You'll find a link that's called Teen Parent Q. And that's going to have videos, it's going to have discussion questions, it's going to have a breakdown of what we talked about uh, on Sunday morning, and that's going to give you uh, something that you could talk to your teens about and visit with them. So just so you know, the question that we want to talk to your kids about this week is share with them a time in your life when dating was more of a curse than a blessing. So I want to encourage you to talk to them about that. One reason I want you to talk to them about those things is this, is that it doesn't matter how great of a presentation I give on Sunday morning or some other teacher gives on Sunday morning, your teens will only take in maybe 5% of what we talked about on Sunday mornings. Uh, that's a psychological study that, that's been proven that you can have the greatest speaker in the world, get up and talk for 30 minutes, and you'll only remember 5% of what that person says. But if within 24 hours you will talk to somebody about what that person said and you'll have a conversation about what that person said, you can take into up to 50% or more. And so we want to encourage you to help your teens take in 50% or more by having these conversations with them. Uh, another interesting stat that we recently, uh, that I came across, is that for teens to stay faithful to Christ, once they graduate from youth group, they need at least seven adults in their life that have been a spiritual influence. And that's why it's important for your teens to be at Wednesday night. Uh, on Wednesday night, uh, we provide an opportunity where it's not me standing up front talking for 30 minutes. It's your teens getting into small groups and having conversations with spiritual adults. It's a chance for them to get to talk, get 50% or more of what they studied, and also for them to have a relationship with an adult who can help them with those questions and those frustrations with this whole topic. So I know you guys got things going on. There's there's homework, there's, uh, there's practice and those things, but to be honest, this is more important than those things. And so we want to encourage you to get your kids there Wednesday night. Get them out of practice early. Let them ditch a practice every other week or something like that. Uh, the, the, their homework can, can get done earlier or later, but this is important stuff. So we want to encourage you to please have your kids there on Wednesday night. Uh, we got all this information on our website, uh, and I was sending out an email to all the parents today with all this information. So be sure to go to those uh, websites, read these emails, check that stuff out, and get your kids to be a part of this wonderful study. Uh, thanks, and we look forward to more conversations with you guys for the next several weeks.